Hello team, my name is Michael Burke and here's my proposal for the Project and Portfolio Online Class for Scraps. Alright, coming up into our first area we have the first mechanic introduced, which is to melt snow. Melting snow will help the player get past these block paths that will occur throughout the level. All they will have to do is find the switch, pull it, and there you go. All right, coming up into this next area, it's not necessarily a mechanic that we are introducing, but it is a part of the level that I think is really makes it unique. It is going to be the ticking clock element, because here we're going to be introduced to what happens when this as this level falls apart. All right, so coming up to this first door, we got nothing but a collectible, a shiny piece of flair that helps everything in life get better. I've got the second door. Okay, it appears to be locked. Let's go over to this inconspicuous orange room. Uh-oh. All right. It seems like the whole world is collapsing in our imagination, but not in real life yet. That is going to be the plan for this level, ultimately, is to have rooms collapsing as the player is going to kind of urge them to go forward with a kill box and everything to make sure that they don't end up getting stuck in the elements or what have you. All right, now back to the game. We got our second mechanic introduced. This will be the door unlock mechanic, where the player will be forced to find a code like this. It's going to be three to five uh, characters long. It is randomly generated, so the player will have a unique code every time they come on. Within reason, of course, but the three choices. All right, for de debugging purposes, though, I did add it a feature to where they can... Just hit the backspace and that will unlock the door automatically. But for the purpose of this, I will show you how easy it is to do. All right, climbing up these stairs, we got our next room. Oh, we got more snow blocking the path. But hey, look, there's a door. Oh, look, another switch. All right, we're going to put through that and we got our practice out of the way. Uh, let's see, we got two choices here. Let's try here. Oh, more collapsing. The whole world is falling apart around us. Got to keep going. Um, here's another big set piece that I plan, where as the player is climbing up the staircase, the whole thing is collapsing out behind them. Um, just a fun little area that's not going to add too much overall, but it'll be kind of a fun experience. All right. Now we got our practice for the control panel to unlock this door, which is for an elevator. All right. Let's go look. All right, there is the code. Um, like I said, just hit the backspace as a, for the debugging tool and allowing this door to open. Um, I was having a little bit of a graphical issue, so once this gets down to the bottom, that second door is not going to open, but it is able to be walked through, so just keep that in mind. That it looks really good and it's amazing. It's probably one of the best levels you've ever seen, but it's not perfect quite yet. That's why we're part of this team. All right, now we got to get these last i ice blocks melted or snow blocks melted so we found this switch and there we go look another path opening up for us to get that final code for our twist and mastery of that control panel oh this is an easy one i'll actually even put it in this time green red red green red red and there we go um i was having some graphical issues by getting those lights to shine up and be all pretty like, but hey, it's coming along. All right, and this is going to be the bridge area that connects us to our next level in the team, where everything's going to be nice and easy. You transition from one to the other, and we're all going to have a great time, and you know, we're going to make project and portfolio great again. Thank you for your time.